Welcome back to Never Shut Up. It's your boy, Marcel Swatty, out here banging and slanging and hanging and respecting those itty bitties, supporting them out there in the community. Make sure you guys go to projecttransition.org, log on, monthly donation, you get the book, and you support those kids trying to be their greatest version of themselves. Let's go. Let's talk about, damn, when was the last time I did a show? March 28th? <laughs> we were talking about idolizing athletes. Let's go. Uh, all celebrity worship is dying. Hollywood done, music done, media done, sports is next. Why? The internet has democratized narratives and propaganda. As a result, social media gives people a voice. Nothing can go unchecked anymore. Great point. Can't, you can't lie. You can't lie, Craig. You can't lie. Cats got receipts. But more than that, you got access. Like you literally right now could tweet J. Cole and be like, man, why you apologize? And guess what? He may write back and be like, look, it didn't feel good in my spirit. You're like, what? Man, imagine back in the days if you were like, Michael Jordan, why did you, why'd you shoot that last shot? Why didn't you pass it to Pippen? You know what you would have heard? Crickets. <laughs> he ain't writing your ass back because there ain't nothing to write on. That's the difference, man. There's a whole different animal out here. Y'all don't understand how good we got it. Shut up. Stop hating. I could hit somebody up in Japan right now and do a deal. And I'm sitting here in boxers, <laughs> in Encino. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing. This world is fresh. All right, your mama, papa, teachers, and other mentors should be your role models. Who teaches you better examples of life? Okay, you're right. That's profound. Not. Duh. The problem is most people ain't getting raised by their mama and daddy. They're getting raised by big mama, right? Auntie mama, right? Cousin. Grandma. You know how it is. And look, if somebody ain't there in the house to raise you properly, the streets happily will. That's how the game goes. That's why I run this foundation, because I know these cats. Stop giving me this theory. These cats is getting raised by junk. So I'm going to be there to try and clean up the junk, recycle it, and make sure these kids dust themselves off. It's messed up. Ain't nothing worse than seeing a kid just born into some craziness. But he can still survive it and thrive from it. But you got to get to him. You got to let them know because y'all got these kids twisted. <laughs> How you going to have a kid and then don't care about the kid and then want to hang out? I slap your face off. Boy, what's oh, let's go kick it. Man, you better go kick it with your kids. <laughs> I, ask my wife. Ask my friends. If you ain't taking care of home, do not hang with me. I am not a good friend. I am not trying to hear you. <laughs> Shut your ass up and go home and handle your business, partner. All right, the real heroes like good mothers and fathers, teachers, soldiers, cops, border patrol, medical field, firemen should be getting more love and support. Yeah, so give them more love and support. We got to get off of this whole we need stuff and we need to do more. Just do more and then say what you did. I think we need to start talking about more what we're doing instead of what we need to do. Simple, right? Like stop posting. Uh, Nah, don't stop posting them curly hair girls. <laughs> I don't know who runs that site. That's the most amazing. No people ain't real. Uh, anyway, but stop posting that silliness all the time and post what you're doing in the community. I know why you don't do it. You don't get engagement. Trust me. When I post anything, I post about a raccoon gang banging on water skis. I get thousands and thousands and thousands. It goes viral. I post about me talking to the itty bitties about life and decisions. I get 11 likes. <laughs> Y'all don't care about nothing good, punks. All right, the same can be said about actors, musicians, celebrities in general. Actually, anyone that really hasn't accomplished anything important to benefit their community. Yep, um, look, I don't idolize Jack. I did grow up thinking I wanted to be Eric Dickerson or John Elway, but I didn't idolize him. Like, you ain't gonna tell me how to be. God made me. I'm listening to him. He in here. Shut your ass. Like, you ain't, what? I'm gonna do me. Like, you ain't about to tell me what to do. You. You can't live for me. You want to know why? This is real. Because you ain't going to die for me. All this, boy, when I was growing up at homies, be like, I'm down for you, whatever. It's whatever. It's what. It's on whatever. Shut up. Y'all ever, this ain't even to be hard. Y'all ever been shot at? Y'all ever have like an earthquake or something like that? Let me give you something else. Well, I've had both. Let's just say when that happens, ain't nobody running to your rescue. <laughs> Cats is trying to protect themselves. <laughs> I've seen it. Cat, cat, cat. Ain't nobody jumping on me. They are out. Don't get fooled. I'm down for you, dog. I got you. I got you. Don't idolize Jack, man. Love yourself. Love thyself. Flag football. Soft culture. NFL rip. Rest in peace. Hello, sissy ball. 
Dude about to try to bring in flag football. You should be ashamed, dude. I played with Justin Smith, and we never played flag football. We played no pads, full contact. I swear I did this one before, but I'm not even going to address that. Why he got to be a punk and a sissy because he played flag? He just don't want to get hit. God dang, I don't like getting hit, and I played tackle. <laughs> what? Oh, man, you like your finger dislocated on second down? Me either. So shut it. Um, flag is here to stay. Flag is growing, and I support flag. I hope it, be, I hope it makes a ton of money. You're going to look up, and flag might make more than WNBA. Ain't that crazy? Because, like, let's just be real. The WNBA been around, and them girls deserve way more money. They're going to end up being like teachers. We're going to just be like, man, they don't get paid enough. <laughs> You're like, God dang. But flag on flag gonna have some support. You mess around. What if flag start making half a million or something? You want your son to play flag? Hell yeah. To now. I say yes, but on a lower level. It's not physically demanding, but it can definitely get your speed and agility and feet up the par. Flag is fun. There is there is an element of flag that I I don't I don't have the same like draw to like I do in tackle and I don't think it's the hits I think there's just too many flag versions I've seen seven on seven I've seen five on five I've seen eleven on eleven they're gonna have to nail the one that I need to see the one you know what I mean it's not the hits I don't need to see the hits like that because y'all ain't even hitting in the NFL no more come on y'all stop playing they say Barry Sanders was good because he played flag football um yeah and he's Barry Sanders (laughs) he could have played hopscotch he was gonna be great stop playing all right, y'all know we finish every show. We finish with a Wileyism. Yeah. Don't bend the truth. It will break you. That's right, damn it. Don't bend the truth because it's going to break your ass. <sighs> Acho going through that right now. Tried to, he told the truth, but then he tried to bend it and all this. I ain't coming for the women. I ain't coming from the, 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 the black side. I ain't coming from... You can't undress yourself and then say you dressed. <laughs> you are who you are. You is who you is. You be who you be. Man, I'm on some other kick of late. Like, 100. Like, because uh, the truth of it is, you're not going to make them happy. You're not going to satisfy them. That land that soft pandering that you think is going to work well for everybody, they still going to turn on you. When I saw Taylor Rooks and others go at Acho like they did, I was like, that's a damn shame. Because all he want is them to like him. And y'all going to do that? I was like, damn. I see it all the time. It's like the cast you really cool with, rock with, all of a sudden they flip on you, right? Like Acho got to call Ryan Clark. But Ryan Clark, ain't you cool with Acho? So why is it now this whole, like, let me reprimand you? Like, dog, what the fuck? I worked with him for two years. He was doing all kind of stuff to me. I ain't reprimand him. (laughs) Y'all, boy, y'all talking about gang banging. Y'all talking about beef. The beef is when you not telling the truth. And then you think it's going to make somebody else like you more or happier with you. And then they ride on your ass. Oh, that's ugly. If you're going to take an L, this is what I always tell my wife. You're going to take an L. Take your L. Don't take somebody else's L. I've, I played in games and lost and walked off the field feeling fine. You want to know why? I couldn't have done anything else. Shut your ass up. That's it. That's all I got, coach. Coach like, yeah, we, we gave it our all. Shoot. All right. I coach right now. I know when my team does its best, I don't look at the score first. I'm like, oh, they balling. Oh, we came up short. Damn, that team good. They got us. Let's go. Baskin Robbins. Now. We also have won and been just lollygagging, acting a fool, not focused. No Baskin Robbins. Y'all better tighten up next time. See what I'm saying? Don't bend the truth, y'all. Fuck these fools. <laughs> like, just say it. And if they don't like it, trust me, a lot of people do. The problem is with the truth, it hurts. So a lot of people don't raise their hand to hurt people. But you're not doing it with a malintention. You're doing it because you're just speaking the truth. How do I look? That shit ain't fresh. <laughs> Let me stop it. <laughs> If I walk up to y'all right now and be like, how I look, and y'all say I look handsome and great and all that, I'll be like, man, shut up. Like, I look good. I don't look amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, call it like it is. Now, if I tighten up, I'm supposed to be good for Memorial Day. We're supposed to go to Vegas Memorial Day. I got a goal now. If I tighten up, we got three weeks, four weeks, right? If I tighten up and that six-pack back and y'all say I look good, okay, now you lying again because I know I look fine. <laughs> Just say it like it is, damn it. 
She built like a fire hydrant. It is. So she still got fans. You ugly. So you tall. So you short. So you rich. So you poor. So I've been all those. <laughs> I've been, I've been everything. God dang. Point is, man, just be you. God dang. Like show some love for the fact that you got created just like you are. Be valuable just like you are. You are valuable before you even achieve. That's the problem with this world. These suckers out here carving up the truth just so it can land right. I'm going to say something and I'm not coming from any agenda, any perspectives. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Don't bend the truth. It will break you. That'll do it for today's episode. Never shut up. I got to take itty bitties to school. God dog. I love it, but God dog. Got a two-hour drive back and forth. Here we go. Let's ride. Bum, 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 bum. Love you guys. Have some fun out there. Beat it up in the comments. Talk to you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. I know I will. <laughs>